Yeah. Nicky Quaid, our lad will win a goalkeeper, not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. Uh, heading into a new year, heading into this Munster League now. It's going to get you off the ground again, Nick. Um, tell me something, Nicky. Would you be able to maintain the hunger that you have for winning all Ireland's We've three in a row, one fantastic achievement? Is the hunger still there in yourself? Yeah, I think it is. Look, hopefully it is. And we'll look at the channel there. Um, no sooner you can say, look forward to the league and get those competitive games going again. And we'll obviously just be trying to improve ourselves and keep our standards high. And I suppose that's that's all we can do is look after ourselves in terms of that. And then yeah, hopefully then our performances will, will follow, us, uh, follow suit. Yeah. When you won that three in a row, I mean, uh, it was such a... a a unique achievement, like a fantastic achievement. Not many, very few people, uh, teams down through the, the whole century the GA has done it. Uh, you know, the whole county must have gone mad to get there. You know, a bit like the first two when you won the first one four, five years ago. Yeah, I suppose, look, it is great for the county, obviously. And there's um, you know, maybe the fact that the two previous years couldn't really, 2020, there was no celebrations at all with COVID, and the new one was a bit reserved as well. So it's nice to know, to be able to share with of full crop park and things like that, all the people there of Limerick, I suppose it's so success is, as we know, in Limerick it's very hard come by, so when you can get there, it's obviously in Hartford to try and to, to, to celebrate them too and enjoy them. Yeah, uh, the legendary 1973 team, you know, a few of them have passed away, and they've been a few of them. They, you, you, this crop that has come along is extra special, obviously. Uh, when, when, when you win in All Ireland, the name you have, Nicky Quaid, is synonymous with, with goalkeeping in, 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 in Limerick. You know, it's very... But the Munster final, I'll have to ask you about Nicky. The Munster final was one of the best Munster finals. You know, all the experts tell, tell us that. We, we, wished, we questioned, did you have the appetite to come back again for another All-Ireland? Would, would you have the legs? And you certainly answered all those questions that day. It was a phenomenal game. Yeah, sure. It was a phenomenal game. I suppose when you look back on that, it was phenomenal to be, to be part of. Um, you know, I suppose the, the atmosphere in Toronto that day it was electric. The, I suppose the, maybe the weather, the, the, the rain kind of added to the whole to the occasion. And then obviously, when he came inside at the end, then it was you know, all these bits and pieces added to, added to the occasion, I suppose. And it was a phenomenal thing to be part of. You know, growing up, the Munster Championship is something that you know, you were every child dreamed of playing. And, and, going to the games and stuff so it was a huge part of our huge privilege to be involved in it um, and not to come out on the right side of the in such a narrow game I suppose was, was very very sad to me. yeah John Kiley uh, now Dr John Kiley uh, a great accolade for him and his family uh, what has the men got that you know maybe Ger Lockdown had it maybe there's a lot of men who's down through the years had it like what has he got to make he ticks and keep ticking day in day out um, I suppose there's no, there's no magic formula. I suppose John would say that himself. He's, he's incredibly honest, hard working man, and he's also around himself. He put a great backroom team together, um, and everyone just works very, very well together. You know, there's no, like I said, there's no magic words and no magic formula that he can do to automatically make him, make him win games. But it's just the honesty, I suppose, that he has with the players and, and vice versa, and the hard work team that he's, I suppose, instilled in us and that kind of a culture of you know, hard work and honest lads is, is hopefully will, has, I suppose. Instead, it's a good stand, and we'll hopefully continue to do so. Yeah. Once you ease yourself into this and, and, and then in the, you're into the National League, it's going to be very quickly around before you'd be heading off the most of the championship again. Yeah, exactly. Once the game starts, it's like they come taking fast. And, well, that's, what, well, that's what fellas want, that's what players want. So we want to be training all year, only playing a few games, we want to play games, and that's what we want. So, once we get started, people will be ready to go and I'm looking forward to each and getting started and going the year in snowballs from there. Yeah, I think we can look forward to a great Munster Championship again. Waterford are hurting a little bit to, or, 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 you know, they're looking over their shoulder at their neighbours winning all these the silverware. Cork, uh, in the, you know, very quiet as well. Like So these teams are going to be hard to beat. Yeah, of course. You know, we're under a lot of illusions. Like, I think everyone knows that you know, the Munster Championship and all the, all the competitions are so competitive. You know, on any given day, anyone can beat anyone. So you know, everyone knows that they're going to at your best. You won't be winning these games. And we're just obviously be looking to try and I'll be at a place for yeah. Goalkeeping, is that a lonely job or is it is? Do you find yourself part of the team or do you find you, you just ask extra responsibility? Especially now with puck outs and if you have so much, you're so. Uh, much I know, sure, look, there's no. Of course, you're part of the team and everyone, but you're not even anyone else on the team. Like Everyone has I suppose, a job to do for the team and whether it's goals or whether you're going forward or whether you're. It doesn't matter what kind of you are. It's a bit of 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 a
you know, with us full panel players like that, we can't get success. So I suppose that's important we have in Limerick. I suppose we have a very good panel and everyone understands their role and everyone is 100% behind the role that John is asking them to do, whether it's no matter what it is, everyone is 100% behind it. When I think of Nicky Quaid, I always look back to the save you brought off against Cork in the All Ireland semi final that really got the ball rolling for you, that save. And you had many outstanding saves, but that was really the one that got the ball rolling for you. Look, that's just so that was just one moment in in you know, in, in a year. You know, there's lots of other moments that were without them happening. You know, we wouldn't have been anywhere, won any game. So, so you can't suppose dwell on one moment for us. It's just never about that. It's just about the team performance. And like I said, everyone trying to put the best foot forward for, for the group and uh, to get results. Yeah. So you, are you champing it a bit now to get back? Can't wait to go back now. Yeah, exactly. Get back. Hopefully, the weather. Uh, Picks up a small bit. It's going to be too nice to be going on hurling tonight. Oh, but look, it's nice to get going again. And uh, hopefully we'll have a, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be a good year again. Please, God. Yeah, four in a row. <laughs> Nicky, thanks very much. Oh, Nicky Clay, thanks very much. Oh,